Hello, Advanced Word Week Revision Exercise is continuing with six, uh, Section 6 and we're going to deal with uh, the Table of Contents. So Question 15 asks us to use the Topperville Hall file, create a Table of Contents under the main heading before the heading Introduction, use the Format Classic, your own choice of leader dots and only show two levels. The other part of the question is saying uh, insert a page break before the heading introduction and then update the table of contents accordingly. If you need any further help on this, uh, refer to the manual pages 65 to 67. So let's do this, this question. OK, once again, using the weekly revision uh, work files, we're going to double click on top of Ville Hall and open up that document. We can see the main heading here. And it's asked us to um, place a table of contents below that main heading and before the heading introduction. So we come down with our cursor with the correct positioning ready to insert the table of contents. Remember that table of contents is an automated feature that relies on heading styles. So this document does have proper heading styles in it. OK, to do the question, we go to the references tab once again. This time we're dealing with the table of contents here and the drop down option there and we always use the custom table of contents not the set um, templates because it's asking us to do specific things so we click on there it talks about using a classic format if I use my choice of uh, leader dots here it looks like it works and then when I go down to show two levels that also works but if I changed my format last, then notice how the leader dots don't appear. So it's probably best to do the format as I did first, leader dots and then show levels. And then once we can see that we've done that, we can OK. And you can see that it beautifully falls right in where we asked it to. And it has all of the headings of all of the uh, chapters in this document automatically page numbered. So the second part of the question is asked us to place a page break before the introduction heading. So place your cursor before it. You can use a control and enter um, for a page break, or you can go to page layout and use a next page break through here. So that's how we're going to do it. And you can see that it's jumped now onto page two automatically, which would be more correct anyway, in positioning wise. However, notice that uh, it's still shown as on page one. So what we need to do is we need to right click on the table of contents and update it as it is an automated feature, a field if you like. So when we do that, it will say update page numbers only, which we can in this case. Um, sometimes in the test, you will ask, they'll ask you to update the entire table of contents. And that's usually when there's been a change to a, a heading style or something other than page numbering. But they will uh, specify update entire table. So if we OK, you can see now that all of the things that were moved onto page two have now moved. And then the other things have moved along accordingly. So that's our table of contents and that's the end of that question. I'm going to move on to question 16 if you want to come along.